Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates Today update we will talk about and share with you latest news about Settle in UK on this work permit route global business mobility visa launched on the 11th of April 2022 The global business mobility route has five subcategories of visas designed for different types of workers Whilst none of these routes lead to settlement they allow for workers with specific expertise to be deployed to the UK with greater flexibility and agility, to support specific projects or commercial needs. The senior or specialist worker visa replaces the ICT visa, allowing senior and specialist workers to move swiftly and with ease between the UK and international offices. Candidates have to currently be working for the sponsor overseas and have worked outside the UK for the sponsor for a continuous period of at least 12 months unless classed as a high earner. The graduate trainee visa is for companies in the UK with overseas operations that have graduates undertaking training who need specialised training to gain the experience of a work placement in the UK that is leading to a specialized role or senior management position. This route can help enhance overseas companies' existing graduate trainee programs by allowing their trainees to gain experience within UK operations. Enhancing relations between overseas operations. The UK Expansion Worker Visa has replaced the sole representative business visa. Allowing overseas companies to deploy multiple representatives to the UK to establish and expand UK-based operations. The service suppliers visa is for contractual service suppliers and self-employed independent professionals based overseas. This route will be useful when companies are engaging specialist contractors in highly niche areas or on project-specific requirements. The fifth subcategory under the GBM route is the secondment workers visa, which is a brand new route for workers being seconded to the UK as part of a high-value contract or investment by overseas employers.